Today, we go over how to calculate your fence and gate post hole diameters. Hey everyone, Jason from Iron Fence Shop. Since we did a video on how deep to dig your fence and gate post holes, I wanted to do another video on how wide to dig your post holes. Now, as with most things in the building materials industry, you could ask five different people the same question and get five different answers. So what we go over today will cover generally accepted calculations that will address 99% of common installation scenarios. Luckily, calculating the width or diameter of your post hole is a pretty simple calculation. To calculate the minimum diameter or width of your post hole, simply take your post size and multiply it by 3. For example, if your project is using 2 inch square posts, you multiply that post size of 2 inches by 3 to get a post hole diameter of 6 inches wide. Bear in mind this calculation gets you the minimum recommended post hole width. Wider than that number is okay. What this general calculation is trying to do is make sure you have enough concrete around the post to resist cracking and breaking. If we take my little prop here, you can see how this measurement places the post in the center of the concrete. Here I have one of our two inch square posts with a six inch wide skirt around it, signifying the post hole diameter that would be filled with concrete. If you place your post in the center of the hole, that gives you two inches of concrete, the two inch post, and two inches of concrete. One key takeaway here is that this calculation is gonna give you the minimum width of your post hole, meaning you do not want a post hole diameter or width smaller than that. You can always dig the post hole wider and add more concrete, but you don't wanna make the post hole smaller. If you dig your post hole diameter smaller than the width the calculation gives you, it could result in cracking concrete bases and loose posts in the hole. You want enough concrete in the width of the hole to ensure that if the post is impacted, the concrete base will stay intact and not crack or break. Other than digging and more concrete being required, a wider post hole is not a bad thing, and in some cases it's recommended. A common scenario where a post hole diameter being wider than the calculation recommends is with gate posts, especially with wider leaves or arched driveway gates. Unlike a fence panel that remains stationary between two posts, gate leaves swing on their hinges and put all the load on that hinge post. That isolates the weight load to one hinge post and its concrete foundation, rather than two posts like a fixed fence panel with posts on each side. Unlike stationary fence posts, gate posts can have shock loads placed on them by folks leaning on the gate while opening it, kids riding on the gate, or a slip and fall that results in grabbing the gate for support as you go down. You also want to consider those wider post holes with the arch driveway gates where the weight bias is out on the end of the gate leaf on the arch. With the weight bias on the end of the leaf, that is more leverage force being exerted on the hinge posts and concrete post foundation. So in the case of gate post hole diameters, going wider than the three times multiplication is never a bad idea, especially once you go over five foot wide gate leaves with arch driveway gates. As an example, if I were installing a 12 foot wide single leaf driveway gate on a six inch post, I would probably go with more of a 20 to 24 inch diameter hole rather than the 18 inch diameter hole the calculation would give you. Digging a wider post hole and using more concrete such a wide and heavy gate leaf is just a little extra insurance for a large piece being hung from one post. A rarer scenario where you may want to go wider than the three times multiplier is if you can't bury your post all the way down. In rare instances, you may be trying to dig two to three feet down only to hit a massive rock or tree root that can't easily be moved. If you can't shift the post hole over without adversely affecting your layout, you could dig a shallower but wider than recommended post hole. If you calculate that two inch post needs a six inch wide by 34 inch deep hole, but hit a massive rock 18 inches down, you could cut the post short and then make your hole 12 inches wide to add more anchor weight with the concrete. If you run into a scenario like this, it's best to call us. What we recommend for a small three foot tall fence panel versus a large driveway gate post can differ greatly and becomes more case by case basis than standard application. So there's how to calculate your post hole width. Be sure to check us out here at ironfenceshop.com. Want to see our video on how to calculate the post hole depth? Check out this video link here. If you have any other questions, you can shoot us an email at sales at ironfenceshop.com or give us a call at 1-800-261-2729. We look forward to talking to you.